everybody. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, my name is Abby Johnson and I am a registered dietitian with the Perimeter Campuses at Georgia State University. And today we're going to be walking around Kroger in Dunwoody and we're just going to be looking up and down the aisles. Um, we're going to be talking about reading labels. We'll talk about best ways to try to save money on your groceries and just how to eat healthy in general. So I thought what better place to start than in the breakfast aisle. So right now we are in the breakfast aisle. You'll see that there's breakfast pastries here to your left and then you have your oatmeal and your cereal over here to your right. When navigating this aisle, let's first talk about how to read a label. Many people feel lost when it comes to reading a label. So let me grab um, a box of cereal. We'll start with two common cereals that you most likely have heard of. One is Raisin Bran and one is Honey Nut Cheerios. We'll start with Raisin Bran. So for Raisin Bran, if you'll follow with me, here are your nutrition facts for the Raisin Bran. The first thing you want to look at when you're looking at a nutrition label for cereal, or for anything for that matter, is your serving size. Because everything in this label is going to pertain to how much is in a serving size. And you'll see the serving size for Raisin Bran is one cup. If you don't know what one cup looks like, one cup is, is going to be roughly the size of a small fist, like what I'm holding up. Most people, the majority of people, will use their bowl as a way to measure their cereal as opposed to an actual serving size. Most people's bowls that they pour cereal in will hold at least three to four cups of Raisin Bran. So you may not be eating one serving size, you may be eating three or four serving sizes. All right, first place we look. So under after we've established that a serving size is one cup, You'll see the calories contained in a cup of Raisin Bran is 190 calories. Um, you got one gram of fat. Let's come down here to carbohydrates. So you'll notice that in bold print you see total carbohydrate. So 47 grams of carbohydrate. And then you'll notice that under that you see fiber and sugar. The reason that fiber and sugar is listed under carbohydrates is because those are both types of carbohydrates. Fiber um, promotes good digestion and it also promotes healthy cholesterol levels. Um, and you'll see that this has eight grams of fiber, which is actually really, really good. The recommended amount of fiber intake for most people is between 25 and 38 grams per day. So eight grams of fiber is tremendous. Let's come down here to sugars. So sugars are 19 grams per cup of Raisin Bran. Now that is a little bit high. Um, the recommended amount of added sugar that people should be having per day on a 2,000 calorie diet is about 50 grams of sugar per day. So if you think about that, if I have one cup of Raisin Bran, I'm already almost halfway there. What if I have three cups of Raisin Bran? Now I've exceeded my 50 grams of sugar per day. So this is a decent choice because of the fiber content but the sugar content would concern me a little bit and I think that there are some better options out there and we'll talk about those. But those are the main things you wanna look for on a cereal box are your calories, your fiber, and your sugar. So let's look at a comparison. So we'll look at Honey Nut Cheerios. So Honey Nut Cheerios, if we look at the top, you'll see three quarters of a cup is actually your serving size. So a little bit smaller than Raisin Bran you're even more likely to have more than one serving of Honey Nut Cheerios because that's gonna be a little bit smaller than my fist. If you think about how big your cereal bowl is at home, you probably would fill at least four, maybe you know, four and a half servings of Honey Nut Cheerios. Your grams of sugar per serving is lower. So only have nine grams of sugar per serving. Um, if you had an equal serving size, so one cup, if you compared it to the one cup of Raisin Bran, you'd have 12 grams of sugar. Um, it is lower in fiber, so you've only got two grams of fiber here. So not so good on fiber, but it is a little bit lower in sugar. Uh, so those are just some things to think about when you're looking in your cereal aisle. You'll also see that you have all of these vitamins and minerals listed under here. Most cereals are going to be fortified with vitamins and minerals. It's almost like putting a little vitamin powder in your cereal. It's just fortified vitamins and minerals to help you meet your daily needs. 
Um, still a good thing. So let's travel down the aisle. 